investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this very last day of March, March the 31st. We're going to be looking at those candles tomorrow to see where they close at 4 o'clock. Whoops, let me get that off there. And don't forget, we start off here at TFNN. We start off with Tommy O'Brien kicks us off right there at 9 o'clock and we've got our programming all the way through to 4 o'clock where Tom Sr. closes the show. Um, and don't forget that Dan is just an incredible medium just this, just this morning alone. There were so many good uh, questions and uh, statements and uh, picks and just it's fabulous. All right, we're looking at the Dow down 183 at 35,043. Let me just show you this because it's kind of important for those of you who might be new <coughs> looking at my uh, my work. What I, I tend to do, oh, where did that go? Hey, did I lose that? No way. Oh, no. Gone. Oh, I have to find it again. That's going to be a shame. All right. Well, in the chat wave methodology, what we try to do is identify the lowest low bar and count, count each successively higher peak. We alphabetize them sequentially, A through G. But at that fourth highest peak, B, peak D, other things can happen. And we want to always see a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode because the implication is that there should be at least four higher peaks and we use a whole bunch of techniques that are just simple tools that are there and all you have to do is identify them and then follow them and what we're looking at is when we went to a buy signal and we actually went long on about the 15th just under 33,000 in the Dow, the diamonds um, what we were looking for was how would it approach this orange 200 period exponential moving average and if it did that would the MACD give a nice wide uh, nine period differential green line way above the slow 26 period exponential moving average with the histogram, the little vertical bars, which essentially diagram the distance between the green and the red lines uh, going positive called the zero percent line. That's the MACD looking at the stochastic over 80 percent, especially over 90 percent and flattening out. Flattening out is imperative to watch. Look here what happened when it went just barely above 80% back in the middle of about the 8th or 9th of uh, February. We went to that peak C and then it failed and it failed and made an H pattern, the dreaded H pattern. So this is going to be really important. The other thing we're looking at here is the unbalanced volume said we're a tad overboard. We should be pulling back. That's why you've got the pullback in the, in the price right now. The blue line, this grayish blue line right here is the relative to strength index. It's good. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just it's kind of in the middle. It's good at about 50 um, uh, 50, 58%. Now what's really important is that the nine period moving average above the black 14 period moving average is still very strong and both of them are way above the 200 period moving average and that just says you've got tremendous support. If there is going to be a market sell off from here and that's why at peak D we always that's our objective. I had the DOG there as a potential that's the DOG one to one short the Dow. I didn't want to do anything right now because the technicals are still very, very strong. And we do have a target with the Chapman Wave inside track repellent resistance line right there moving towards some kind of a high over the next couple of days, trying to get to the 35,000, um, maybe even 35,500s. Maybe that's a stretch, but that's what we're looking at now. <clears throat> um, one of the things we're looking at in the weekly chart, 36,900s. January the 5th makes a peak D top in the daily chart right there. You can see it. And then it comes tumbling down uh, to 32,272. And then it rallies back and it rallies back more than 50 percent. In fact, the 50 percent number, if I can remember correctly, I like to always look at that, is, uh, where did I write it? 34,612. 34,612. We're at 35,000. We're 400 points above that. The day is young, the week is young, but so far that's what we're looking at. Now, what's really important about this is that the monthly chart is nicely above the nine period exponential moving average, which is at this particular point 
And if I can just hit that, click it. There it is. 35,530s. Um, 35, 34,530s. And uh, we'll just watch it and see what happens tomorrow. We'll talk about it in my Friday's technical, uh, technical Friday where we do more Chapman Wave methodology uh, discussions. Now, talking about Chapman Wave methodology, um, I'm going to be doing a webinar. This is going to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be, I believe, a Wednesday week. Uh, that'll be the 13th of April for subscribers. You can become a subscriber. It's a money-back guarantee. So not only that, you get my webinar, you get my newsletter. We've had some real nice picks. Um, uh, and also, you got my 9, 10, 11 uh, webinars that I did. And some of them are really intense. They're all discussing the Chapman Wave methodology. So let's just go straight on. We're going to look at the S&P right now because this is the one that I'm really keying on. I want to see where we close in the in the monthly chart because this is a fantastic rally. When you think of all the bad news with interest rates skyrocketing, with the agricultural sector skyrocketing, crude oil skyrocketing, you, you've got the Fed out there. Are they going to raise rates? You've got the rates skyrocketing. You've got the Russian-Ukrainian situation, it's a situation, it's an invasion because, uh, could anybody tell me, has um, U Ukraine sent even one missile over to Russia? I mean, why is Moscow not being uh, uh, bombarded? This is an invasion and we're gonna have to treat it as an invasion. The other thing I'm looking at here is, with all these things, the S&P goes from 48.18 down to 41.14 has rallied back uh, almost uh, uh, 60 percent. This is the monthly chart. You would never believe, if I said to you as we're going into uh, January, that in February and March, we're going to have a uh, uh, potential World War III. We're going to have interest rates skyrocketing, uh, crude oil up in the sky. Uh, this whole Ukraine, the breadbasket of, of uh, Europe and, and many countries around the world, um, under siege, and the, and you get a pullback um, of what is that? At this point, it's four or five percent. You wouldn't believe it. Well, the month is young, even though we've only got another couple of hours to go to the end of the end of the end of the day, end of the month. But the other thing is this: what we do have is the month of April, which often is very choppy. Coming up, how do we handle that? Now, I would just say that in the S&P 40, 4440s is key support in the shorter term, but closing any week under 4309 says, uh-oh, those Chapman Wave Roman candles, I'm going to be talking about these in my webinar coming up, all these different techniques, I'm going to show you how you can stay in a position much longer than you thought based on certain uh, moving averages, etc. All I'm saying right now is thus far, at 10 14 a.m eastern time on the 31st of march we're looking at a market that's actually done really well under these circumstances what more could you say all right let's go on we're going to be looking at the qqq one two three here we go i come back off its low was 364.48 trading 365.85 down a dollar and a quarter um so far the macd stochastic everything is looking really strong i just I think there's still a lot of buying to come. How much higher you go is the question, but support is there. Thousand the trap for Tiger Fish is out. Thousand down 190. Right back. Straight up. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. So we're looking at the TLT up 45 cents at 132.22. That's bonds. My, you see this trend line here, and these are all techniques. I'm, my, on the front page of TFNN, you'll see my, uh, you'll see the uh, advert for my coming up webinar on the 13th of April, Wednesday, at 4 o'clock to 5:30. And of course, you can get it anywhere you are now that you've got uh, Discord. You see this chap wave inside track propellant zone see how many times you went right into it just two trend lines parallel trend lines within the larger uh channel this little mini channel the six sixteenth of an inch went right to it at 127.65 trading at 132.20 and that's just suggesting that finally the t and x dot x which is the 10 year come 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 10 year which is the 10 year, anybody hear me? There it is. Um, we're looking at it, look at this. At a peak E in the Chapman Wave methodology, pulling back, I drew the rectangle in the other day. Still the technicals are very good, but it is pulling back. And that just says the 10 year yield at 2, 2.331 is way off the high that was at uh, 25.03, that's 2.503. That is a big deal right now because it means that <clears throat> at least in the very short term, there could be a little mini trend change, and that's important. A uh, couple of things we're also looking at here is gold. Gold is in this trading band. I've got this. Whatever happened to my other? Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought it was there. Um, this is the chart that I was going to show you. Let me just move it over right here. This is the chart that I was going to show you. Chapman Wave methodology, we try to identify the lowest low, count each successively higher peak at peak D, the fourth highest peak. Other things can happen. You can get your sharpest decline. Remember the Dow made on the 5th of January, made its peak D and what it turned down and had. But it could also recycle to an E, F, and G. It can have Chapman Wave instant restart. And what's really important about this is that there's another pattern I look at because I'm always looking at only three major uh, – what, what, chart formations. One is where there's a straight line move to the upside, up or down. The other is a cup formation. The other is an arch formation. You can get a mix of one and two or one and three. This is one and three. I call it the dreaded H because it's the lowercase H that if it decisively takes out that left side low, it could do a one and one from the arch high to the base to the downside. If it's on the upside, you can get a break to the upside that says 
break that left side high, you can continue. That's why it's green. And now what do we have? We, oh, and this particular pattern can turn into a second H pattern, which means you've gone from a lowercase h, held the left side low, and now you're making a second arch formation that may, looks like an M. Well, lo and behold, that's exactly what we've got here in the uh, pattern that we were looking for in gold. So gold is held. It did break underneath the left side low, but ran back up again immediately that day. So this is good arch formation. Now it's in the rectangle. I drew this rectangle before. I'm just going to extend it out because sometimes the chart itself tells you exactly what to look for. It says, hey, 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 look, this is what I've got. Don't you have to fight anything? Here's my rectangle, and you're just stuck between about 1900 and maybe 1962 for the moment. If it breaks decisively into the 1978-1982 area, that is a really significant breakout because then all of a sudden the pattern changes and now you're going to be looking at the I'm doing this in only as a potential. A potential cup formation which says, aha, now you can start looking at the upside. So you got to always have two fighting patterns. One is negative, one is positive. This one just says, you know what? I'm not negative, I'm not positive, I'm sideways. That's what we're looking at. Silver is not quite the same pattern. Silver broke decisively below, went to the 200 period moving average, and now it's struggling a little bit more because it's making lower lows and lower highs. And that's a B minus right there in the Chapman Wave arch formation for the dreaded H. The failure is usually at a peak A or B. And then it comes back down, it becomes a B minus because it completely failed. So this says 2616 right now, a 0.04. There's a chance you could get to the 20. If it breaks above 2692 in the next week, that's going to be good. If it breaks into the 2630s, that's really good for silver. Meantime, 2420 is key support that it needs to hold. Let me do high grade copper. High grade copper is holding quite nicely. It's already made a peak C, a leg C. This could be a peak C within the big rectangle formation. And uh, within that context, what we are looking at um, is that. Oh, let me just show you this. It's really important. I'm just taking a little time, even though I've got a ton of questions coming, just to show you some of the techniques because they, they repeat. Remember, the price point we're looking at is, is a price point of human emotion. And human emotion means that you've got fractals of emotion that get re repeated in chart patterns, whether it's a one minute chart, a yearly chart, or a decade chart, it's the same emotion, just on a bigger or smaller time frame. So you've got your rectangle formation here in high grade copper from 4.89 uh, back in April and um, may, maybe, and then it pulls back sharply to the 4.20, it actually goes to the 4.0, let's call it the $4 level. And then it kind of stays in the rectangle formation. Over and over again, it tries to break out and then it does go to a peak D. Let me show you patterns repeat, IWM. Remember, it stayed in this rectangle formation for months, 234 to 207, trading, 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 look fantastic short term, on a weekly basis, it was just a long sideways rectangle. Now you've got in New York, you've got these uh, skinny skyscrapers. Uh, what do they call them? Tall, whatever it is. These very tall, skinny little skyscrapers. And uh, this is on the side. It's the same thing, but on the side. And now you've got the skinny move to the sideways, and then it goes to a peak D, Chapman Way, fourth, fourth peak higher, at 244.46. And then it pulls back. And what does it do? It creates a propeller shaft with this midpoint of the rectangle goes above and then below and goes all the way down to 1.89, 87.92, the week of February the 25th. Now it's trying to get back to say hello to the rectangle, and that's the way we look at it. Deer, I'm just showing you patterns. That's what we're about here. Deer, which we are long still, had this long sideways pattern between 400 and 321, went all the way back to May the 14th, the week of May the 14th, continued for months. And then all of a sudden, bam, uh, we went we went long uh, about three weeks ago. And then boom, at, uh, it goes to 414 and then 437.98. Uh, 
and it's had a big pullback the other day. It's still holding very well. We were very fortunate. Uh, it, it, but this is the rectangle formation. And it's saying, is dear, D-E, can you go back into the rectangle? Or be, will this be one of those times where it went to a D or an E and didn't pull back? The fact that it didn't do it at, oh, this is an F. It went to a peak F. The fact that it's holding still well, pretty well in the whole agriculture area, which is really doing so well. We added uh, uh, in the commodity area, we added another one today. We've got a lot of positions in different commodity areas. And look at this. It's holding well. And it's only a leg C in the weekly chart. Now, let's go back to what we were looking at. I was looking at, you remember, that was high-grade copper, high-grade copper, sideways action, suddenly pops to the upside. And uh, in the in the in the weekly chart, went to peak D, went back into this. So I suspect that high grade copper, which is a good sign for the economy, world economies, is actually holding very well, but within a containment area. That's what I wanted to say. I think we've done a whole bunch of things, and I can get all the questions. A lot of questions showing up. Wow! So many people now in the den. I'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Let, let me just do this. I'm going to run. I'm just going to go uh, scrolling through uh, the... Uh, here we go. Uh, I want to just quickly do a, a scroll through uh, the Dan. Just to, These are questions that have come up. I hope I can find them in, in sequence. Uh, let me just see if I can go back there. Um, okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to do. I had a question about Tesla. Tesla, I said, was holding very well, 
it made it, I'm not sure, I think that's a peak. See, yes, there was a slightly higher high yesterday. A fantastic move up. The MACD is ter really strong. Stochastic's flat, you remember, at 95%. There's nothing better in the world than a flat stochastic in the 95% area. As soon as it turns down, uh, under 80%, you have a little problem. On balance volume says a tad overbought, nine way above the 14 period moving average, and both of them all way above the 872 level of the 200 period moving average. We're at 195 up, up $2. So the high that was made at uh, on the 29th at 1114.77, 1113.95 was the high on. Wednesday, so this becomes a PC. But look at this tiny little candle. I, I like this very much, and I believe it should go to a leg D. Now, what I do is a Chapman Bay falling axe formation, another one of those things I'll be discussing in great detail when I do my webinar in, in um, over just uh, just under two weeks. See, when you, the price rises and suddenly starts to fall, makes a lower low, lower highs and much lower lows, then all of a sudden it finds some support. If it can break that higher downtrend line, it could do a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. Well, lo and behold, what we've got here is this has gapped up on a weekly basis. That's unusual. Now what I do is I tend to just make it as simple as possible. I like to look at what is resistance, and this says to me, perfect resistance right there. And what I'll do is I'll draw that, make that green, and I will just add a new parallel. Everyone, every, every software has... Um, straight lines. So the issue now is sometimes they don't have cu uh, um, cup formations. That's a shame because the cup formation is so, for me, so imperative in, in what I do. But you don't have to have it. You could turn, you can make it like into a V-shaped pattern and imitate a cup. But look at this. If Tesla is able to break into the 1140, uh, 1132 area or higher next week, then what we're looking at is that whole area going into, I'll give you the numbers right now, 1147 to 1167 is going to be tremendous resistance. And these double tops, even if they're sloping a little bit, can become quite heavy in terms of resistance. If you look at, I wanted to show you something here, uh, BLDR is something I've been looking at for a long time. Look at this double top. I've been talking about this for over a year and a half. These double tops are incredible. What happens? 78.49 on the third of um, the third of March in BLDR, which is Builders First Source Inc. housing, and then it pulls back sharply to the 67 level. It's 11 11 points, and then runs up where to 78.60 and gives you a two bar reversal, Chapman wave two bar reversal from the 21st to the 22nd, and now it's trading at 66. They are potent, these double tops. This is the dreaded H pattern, but upside down, and it failed. So I'm looking at, look at this, here's your rectangle, I can now make the rectangle even lower. There was a question about VLDR I got, and I just said, uh, I, I can't even remember now if it was too short or too stay long. I'd be looking at the downside. Whether this is the position to short right now at 66, where this is where there should be some support. Target is 63 for three points. I'm not sure, but I think the pattern here is saying that this could this could be uh, in a downtrend for quite a while. So I'm just going to answer it to say it's now gone from a, a buy signal to a buy mode and just switched over from a sell signal. Today's action puts it into sell mode in the daily. Weekly chart is in a sell signal. All right, that's BLDR. Let's go back here. Uh, did I get those? Oh, I keep losing it. Okay, so that was Tesla. Uh, to, to really see Tesla um, decline sharply, that is to go from in, in a 120-minute chart, it's not even to go to a sell signal, even the 120-minute chart, I would have to see the gap. And the gap should be filled at some point. You might have to make a D, and then it's ready for a pullback. But the low of 1053.60 on the 28th, a close below 10, a close below 1048, suggests that the 9 period moving average of 1034 and then the 14 period moving average of 996 is in play. But if there's a break to the upside in leg T and a D, and a stall remains positive, I'd be careful. All right, next question was. Uh, oh, that does move.
pity. Okay. Um, I just saw CLVS. It's funny that CLVS showed up because I've had this on my kind of watch list for a long time. It always trades around about below two dollars between two and one and a quarter, and then all of a sudden it popped up. But that wasn't the issue in my chart with the black background here. I used the sister show using the black background. Is there an issue? Yep, there it is. I like to show this job. This is what I show subscribers every day. This is the Chapman methodology. I explain it every single day what we're looking at. This is the Dow Daily with just the 9, the 14, and the 20 period exponential moving averages plus my notations. This one has the MACD and stochastic and the on balance volume included. Um, and this is a 120-minute chart made at PT. I said, just be careful at a PT. You can get some kind of a pullback. Uh, but it's the, the close today. If we can't start coming back later this afternoon and there's just a narrow close, that'll be very, very important. Uh, but what I was looking at this. I look at CLVS in the corner, and it hadn't opened yet. Um, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. So what a coincidence that someone in the den mentioned CLVS, which is Clovis. Is it Clovis Technology? Uh, Clovis, Clovis what? Roman and the Clovis. Clovis Oncology. That I've had it on my list, a number of these uh, biotech stocks in different areas uh, I, I've had. And this is a big move. So obviously some news, really positive news is up 55%, uh, 258. It's up 93 cents. And that's over 50%. So, yep, this is starting to work very nicely for those people that had long-term buy and holds. I, I just don't know. I just saw the name. And next, oh, yeah, in the in the Tiger YouTube, CLVS up 51 percent. What a coincidence! Because in the den, there was also someone who mentioned it. Okay, next question was CCJ. I don't know if it's a question or a statement. CCJ is chemical core uranium energy. Now, this is really important for a number of reasons. There's a pattern that I call the cup and ladle, the Chapman wave cup and ladle formation. What happens is there's a price that goes to very often it's like a D or an E, and then it pulls back. It doesn't take out the starting point, which is the left side low in this case in the weekly chart of CCJ, which is at uh, on the 20th of August at 15.34. But it holds very nicely at 18, 18.03. And then it rallies. So in the Chapman wave, this is called the cup and ladle formation. It means if there's a break above the left side high, there could be a really quick break to a leg D, then a pull back to the left side, previous high, which was 28.49. And if the technicals are still strong, it could continue higher. And that's the, uh, this is the cup and ladle. Why do I call it the cup and ladle? Because many of you know about the cup and handle. That is, it stops at the left side high, and it makes a little handle, and then breaks up. I can't stand that bad unless you use it in a particular way. I'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I had one of my screamers that I had, KOS, which is... I, 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 some time ago, it was just moving up, 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 and I thought, oh, okay, well, what do I do now? This is it, down in the fifty, uh, in the four point fifty five dollar area, and didn't do anything, and now here it is at seven point thirty nine. Um, in leg C, it's a chap wave instant restart over there within two bars. It makes a new high after a peak D. Um, oh, and there are so many. The Cosmos Energy. I mean, this started showing up in the ones. And we've got, is this where energy is going to be? The question came in the den about XLE. So this symbol here is KOS, Cosmos Energy, uh, XLE. Remember, rectangle formations, if they wide rectangle formations, and it starts to, it holds the left side low. This one didn't. It made the dreaded H first, and then it came down, made a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. XLE hit about 80 back in about the 7th of March. Plummets down to the, on the 14th, it goes down to 70. It's a big move down. Now it's gone peak A, peak B, great peak A, great peak B, because the stochastic is, well, the MACD is flat. Stochastic actually is just about at 80% at 79. So this is just suggesting that it is still in play and it made a peak G. That means any new high, you're in a buy mode. Any new high above, this is the XLE spider, SB spider, above 80.22. Doesn't have to close, just has to make a new high. Within this new context um, of the rectangle formation, and remember the rectangle formation says, if after the flag formation, there's a low and it starts to make higher lows and higher highs in a stair-step manner, which this is doing, uh, there's a chance that it could go just under, right on, or just above the previous high, that's the flagpole high, that's just the high of, um, right there of uh, March the 8th at 80.22. And then if it starts to pull back after that, it goes back into the range of the rectangle. But if it makes a, a two out of three bars sharply above the left side high, that's a breakout. Well, look at this, the XLE in this huge Look, there's a rectangle formation. Now, what I've done for some time now is I've kept, when I use Fibonacci numbers, I've, I've, I try not to do it too often because it starts to make the chart look a little messy. But every once in a while, I just say, you know what, I need to keep it there. Look how beautifully it's handled these Fibonacci numbers. And um, as it's extended from the low that was made back in March, I think it was the 20th, yeah, March the 20th of 2020 in the week, weekly chart, um, once it went to that high, uh, what was the low? I said the low was 22.88. The high was, on the week of June the 12th, the high was uh, 46.88. And then it pulled back right to there, which was 26.98 in October of 2020. So I just did a Fibonacci expansion, and it's gone to all these different levels. 
And what's really important is that 82.80 uh, uh, gets you 238.2 uh, area percent area. And what we're looking at is uh, it's walking the nine period and the 14, but especially the nine period moving average in the weekly. And remember, the MACD, basically, just look at the chart of the price. Now look at the chart of the MACD, and you can see there's a big match. Sometimes you get the divergence. They can kill you if you're using the wrong thing. But if you got it right, look. It's working its way up following the pattern. I could overlay that, and the MACD looks like the price. Stochastics at 87% starting to pull back, still good. On balance volumes a tad overbought. So the XLE says this is in play. It continues to be in play, even though it's at a peak D in the chart. Maybe that's we've become a little bit cautious. And a leg E in the monthly chart. This is where normally you say, oh, oh, what are we thinking? This, you, you, know, you don't want to be long. You want to be lightening up. But in fact, energy is in play. There's just no question about it. Energy is in play. All right. So XLE has key support at 74. And if it breaks out one penny above the high that was made on March the um, 25th of 78.85, that starts leg C. And I'm still, this is called a gray B because I should make it a gray because I haven't really got confirmation yet of the um, of a buy mode, but it's acting really well. All, all the things are in place. The nine's way above the 14. I should put an up arrow, but I'm going to hold that off. I'm just going to call this trough A right here. Trough A and Trough B. And now what have we got? We have a little plus sign, meaning there's a chance that it could move up nicely, which is done. If the MACD goes above, it crosses nicely. A flat MACD means you've got the directional move of the last indicator. And in this case, it is still from that top at peak G. And it says until it crosses positive, you've got to be a little bit careful. But price is really the arbiter of the trend. The price is holding very well. Energy is holding very well. Let's go to crude oil and see what crude oil is doing. Let's go to crude oil. Type it in right here, the little rectangle. There we go. Uh, GC, there we go. Uh, crude oil. No, I went to gold. I meant to go to crude oil, CL. And that is down sharply, down five at 102.83. And this is just saying to me that the oil sector, which has the multinational oils, it has you know a lot of things going on there, is acting a little bit better because hey, if crude oil is up above above 90 at 102, I mean there's still that is an extremely high price. I'm suspecting that crude oil is going to be under pressure, but the demand is still there, and we will see it in a rectangle trading range for a little while until when it breaks out or breaks down, it's going to be a big move because of a number of factors, I, to maybe tomorrow I'll get into it. But if there is a close above 117 at any point in the next two weeks, that is a breakout of great significance because it says you have raised the base price of, of crude oil and you've now got a huge cushion between 103 and, nine, and 98. All right, so I did that. Question, question, question. I did that. Okay. <clears throat> um, within the DEN context, let me move this aside here. This is quite exciting. A lot of questions. Um, uh, uh, Lenar and Toll, I'm not going to take too much time. They're under pressure. I, I would not be long any of these stocks in the uh, home builders. Not at this moment. If you are long, you've been long, you've had really good gains. Take something off. Make, give yourself a good cushion. Use those profits to say, you know what, I'm going to keep a little bit. But I would have a stop on a, a Lenar trading at 83.39. It hasn't broken down, but it is in a sell mode in the daily, sell mode in the weekly. And by the end of the day, this monthly chart is going to give me a sell signal. So I wouldn't be messing around the long side. Look, they've had a fantastic move. They deserve some kind of a break to the, to, you know, just a consolidation. So I would be very careful because if it closes under 78, there's a chance that there's open territory uh, for weakness. Um, and I, I'd just be real careful. Next question I had was, uh, a Q -Q -Q. <laughs> uh, VLO, yeah, VLO, Valero. What a move. Valero, even today, it's up 2%. It's up $2.19 at 102.69. Look at this V-shaped pattern here. This is like the cup formation. This is what I usually draw in. I thought I had drawn this in for, uh, maybe not. And now we're going to go to the right side. And look at this. Uh, this is the cup, a beautiful cup formation. Remember, this is the reverse Y that we were looking at. 
So he has a chef and wave. Uh, this is called Left Side, Right Side Christ Time Match. I'll be showing you some of these things when I do my webinar on the 16th. How do you draw these things? I, I mean, what, what do you look for? Why do you even look for it in the first place? And look at this. It broke, the, it broke out. Uh, if you test it, it broke out to the right side. That's very good action. And that's a, a leg E, day E, leg E in the weekend, leg D, breakout in the monthly. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Uh, Basil Chapman here. This is the final segment. So a couple of questions that came in, but at the same time, uh, I, I just found out Larry's not around and I made a quick change and I'm going to be able to do the next hour because I think a number of people have asked me about commodities. I haven't really had a chance to do anything with it. I'll do another hour. I'll do. Uh, it's not, this is not trade what you see. I'll use the hour of Larry to do some work using my techniques. So it's, I'm not substituting for Larry. I'm just filling in for that hour. Uh, let's make it clear because Larry is one person that uh, the, the techniques that he's developed over his decades and decades is just something really special. Uh, so that's all I can say. So I'll be looking at uh, the different uh, currencies. I'll be looking at wheat. I'll be looking at the dollar. I'll be looking at coffee was mentioned earlier on so when I get back for I'll be doing the hour 11 o'clock to 12 so um, and a um, couple of things going on right now it's really important INDU this is the Dow is trading down 131 I would have preferred to see about 130 down okay but right now at 11 11 o'clock Eastern time between 11 and 12 30 
I would want to see some kind of amelioration of the downside selling and see a, like a minus 65. And then as we go into the afternoon, maybe close down about 40 points. And the S&P, instead of being down right now, is actually a little bit better than in the Dow. But the S&P, SPX, so X, there we go, is down. Oh, it's not bad. It's down four. I, I would like to see it. Actually, if the S&P could close positive with that monthly chart, I want to talk about that when I come back for, for the hour. That is usually Larry's show. So I will be back for another hour. And also, I'm going to just mention again, on the Wednesday, the 13th of April, I'm doing a webinar for subscribers, and it's going to be really important. And the question is, can we see higher highs in the indexes in 2022 when a lot of people are saying, no way, we're in for this biggest recession, etc., etc." I think there's a lot to discuss, and we might even find that it's kind of that in fact, one or two of the indexes goes higher, and one or two stalls. We'll I'll be back.